I've been talking to people as well, talking to Aslam seekers who arrive in the country. You know, they go to a corner and cry because sometimes they don't know what's going to happen to them, if they're going to get refugee status, if they're going to get papers, if they're going to be allowed to stay in the country. So that time of being in limbo mm -hmm. is a bit hard. <laughs> it's a bit hard. Tell us your story. Who are you? My name is Doria Svanda. I'm from Zimbabwe. I came in islands in 2018. I'll say I came as an Aslam seeker and I got my refugee status a year after. So I came here and I got the sanctuary scholarship uh, to do my food science in UCC. After that, I continued to navigate into dairy technology and innovation. And right now I'm doing my master's in uh, sustainable food processes. What were the biggest sort of differences that you had from Ireland and back home? When I arrived, it was, it, I, had, I had nostalgia. I felt detached from my roots, detached from my origins and my culture as well. I can say that now I'm more relaxed and feeling more at home because we had lots of support yeah, from organizations here in Ireland. There's one that I would love to mention in particular that is called Friends of Aslam Seekers. It was good because they give you like a daily support. They what want kind to of know if, you? like, you know, they would give you directions and everything that you need. Maybe you don't know where to go, if you don't know where the hospital is, you don't know uh, if you want to study. For example, for me, when I when, when I came in, I didn't want to stay with, with what I had before. It was okay, but I felt like the industry would need me to have something that is solid that I got from here so that maybe they can be more comfortable and more confident to hire me. And you were talking mm. about the degrees and things like that. Mm. Did you feel like you had to get one from Ireland to be perceived as, okay, this is le legit kind of thing? I had a course anyway before. I had my qualification in, in um, hospitality management. I wanted something along those lines. So when I went looking for a job in Glenakilty for the first time, the only job that I could get was to maybe assist in the kitchen. And, you know, but I felt it was not enough. That was not me. I wanted something more challenging, something that I, I went to college for. People didn't have confidence in hiring, um, especially if you're an Aslam seeker coming in the country. Not that they don't want to do it, but they, they kind of like not show who you are. That alone made me think, okay, maybe if I do... I advance from UCC here in Ireland, then it will be easier. I would have more reference that, okay, you did this course here. Now they know that uh, I, they can trust whatever I say I'm qualified for. When you were saying of like the differences of culture and things like that. I'm more into food industry. So food. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's the main one. Yes, me too. I'm Talk a about lady. food, I'm there. <laughs> I, I realized that the, the ingredients are the same, but we don't prepare the same way. And we, in our culture, we love sharing. So if I cook my food in a different way and invite someone, maybe like I'm saying that we were used to the uh, ladies from uh, Friends of Aslam Seekers who were always with us. I would invite her to come and join me on the table, but it would be some, something that she never ate. Some would be willing to, to try it, and but I'll be having that like, you know what, I want them to eat it because I know what it means. I love this food. And so some way, somehow, I was I, I had to kind of like cook what they prefer, reduce a bit from what I can what what I what what we eat. Like so spice. that's yeah, you know. So <laughs> that alone I would have loved to share our dishes from home. But um because uh it's different, you also have to accommodate them because I want them to share the dish with me. So somehow I felt like I'm kinda of like detaching from the kind of food that I loved most. I love dancing. Like nothing. Put music here, I'll be jumping. I enjoyed though, you know seeing Irish dances that they like and sharing what the, my, my own moves as well with them. It was good. But you always wish and always feel like you need people from your country to share uh, certain celebrations, play the same music, dance to the same music because you, you, it, it's, it's got a meaning from your background. And but, do you have that community in Clannacilty? Yes, but we're not mainly... The, we're not main of us. We we have people from okay, Africa as well, but from different countries. So diverse. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I have to tell people all the time like so, we're not the same. Yeah. <laughs> so we uh, ended up doing a project anyway that was um, 
in 2020, just after COVID, when everybody was feeling so down and people were, you know, always closing and closed doors and everything. So we had an event um, that was um, called, uh, it, it was actually community integration. And our project there, we came up with, um, it was actually Food and Fashion Bazaar. It went so well. Because we go? had the whole community coming in and we had people from the direct provision. We had actually not only people from the direct provision, immigrants and the community as well. As a whole, we, we enjoyed food together. We shared music. We, sh we, not, we had fashion and everything. There was modeling. There was, it was beautiful. Would you consider like Ireland your new home now? I would. I would. Uh, Anyway, because I've been here for five years and uh, my daughter is here and going back to start from home because of issues, it's not going to be easy. The more I accept that I'm here, the more I feel comfortable. And the people around the community has been good. I, I, I'll be lying to say that wherever I need information, I don't get it. No, I do get it and I get support. Your daughter as well, does she feel at home in Ireland, from your perception? Yes, it, it, was, it was difficult as well when she arrived, but she made friends quicker than I did. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is there a day that where you'd wish you'd go back home? To stay temporarily, to stay permanently? Yeah, Anything like just, that? Uh, yeah, I wish I'd go back home to see my family, to see my, you know, my beloved ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, I love being here. And if I go home, I'll come back. <laughs> I'll definitely come back. <laughs> Yeah, I miss home and I really want to go home and meet lots of people. But some situations maybe won't allow me, but I really miss home, that I can say. I miss people at home. I miss everything about home. Finally, so you were saying you feel included. Do you feel like you truly belong in Ireland? It won't be easy, to, to be honest with you. It won't be easy because if I face is nothing, like I feel still, I feel like fresh from home and I still love my origins so much and I'm so much attached, but it's only that I'm here now. Like I said, the support that I'm getting is helping me to say Ireland is home and I'm not planning to go anyway. <laughs> so bit by bit, mm -hmm. I'm getting there. And is there anything you'd like to add or anything that you want to kind of talk about your experience because it seems to me like a very positive one i'll just say i wish i i don't know if every community is like clona kilty i feel that clona kilty is good and if every community will be like this and the people who arrive in the country whether you are an aslam seeker or you came in which way it doesn't matter but if 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 that kind of support to be given to everyone I've been talking to people as well, talking to Aslam seekers who arrive in the country. You know, they go to a corner and cry because some, they don't know what's going to happen to them, if they're going to get refugee status, if they're going to get papers, if they're going to be allowed to stay in the country. So that time of being in limbo mm. is a bit hard. <laughs> it's a bit hard. And um, that's when people need more support. Mm.